Alright. We rolling. Come, we're gonna give all praise to you. How about Shimmy Shy? Um, uh, um All praise to you, about Shimmy Shy call while y'all about Shimmy Shy. Brock Thay Howell, Brock Thay How Shy, Brock Thay Howell, Brock Thay Howell Shy, Brock Thay Howell, Brock Thay Howell Shy. Brock Thay Howell, Brock Thay Howell Shy. Um, and we give all uh, all praise to Yah by Shimmy Shah. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and shalom to the elect, pushing this word throughout sincerity, uh, throughout the world in sincerity and truth and charity, for the edification of the Akim, for the house of Dawah Da, the house of David, for the building and the edification of the house, um, and for the elect. Uh, this is brothers from the D.C. camp again, once again. Coming at you today with an open forum, we, we really didn't have a topic that we wanted to touch on, but we touch on all topics. Everything according to the scriptures is an important topic, so we're just going to go in the spirit of an open forum. But what we want to teach and try to start off the teaching is uh, sound doctrine, because, you know, what, what what's needed in this world, what's needed uh, in, in, in Yasha Allah is sound doctrine, so they can hold... So they can hold their hat on something that they, you know, that that will be comforting. You know, uh, the world is nothing but lies, trickery, robbery, deceit. So we're gonna just continue on that word uh, uh, of the sound doctrine and what it means, and, and we're just gonna open form to to whatever the spirit holds. You know. Okay. So uh, go ahead. Uh, it's First Timothy chapter four, verse sixteen. You know, I'll start at verse fifteen. It says. Meditate upon these things, give thyself wholly to them, that thy profiting may appear to all. Take heed unto thyself, and unto doctrine, continue in them, for in doing this thou shalt both save thyself, and them that hear thee. You know, and that fits uh, right into what the Aki was, was speaking on, man, because we were given a sound doctrine, man, the doctrine of life, you know, which is this truth. You know, and the scriptures say that if we continue in it, you know, we, we this is the only thing that can save our lives, man. Because we know what's to come to America, man. The scriptures say uh, uh, the day of the Lord is at hand, you know, to where the Heavenly Father is going to bring nuclear destruction upon this very land that we're in, you know. So to, to, to save ourselves, so to speak, you know, but it, although we know that it was all chosen and predestined from the beginning... You know, we still have hope and faith that Lord's will, we may be those men. You know, I'm going to read that last part again. Verse 16, it says, Take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine, continue in them. And that's really the main important part. You know, because I remember, uh, actually, you know, the elder Aki right here, he, he told me a while ago, he said, it's not about who starts. It's about who finishes, man. It's not about who starts in, in this faith, man. It's not about, you know, who, who who's... Uh, uh, who, who's more well versed, you know, so to speak. It's about who finishes, man, you know, because we see examples uh, of men who, who thought themselves to be something, man, who's who's been in the faith, uh, uh, like like that 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 dude in um Atlanta, you know. And, and he he didn't he didn't finish continuing in it, you know. He didn't finish continuing in the doctrine, you know. So that's the main important part. It says, take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. Continue in them, for in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear thee, you know. And that, and them that hear thee are who? The fruits, you know. Because the scriptures say what? Uh, uh, you shall know men by their fruits, and their, um, just roughly paraphrasing, their fruits shall remain, you know. The fruits are, are the men, you know. The men that are waking up and, and uh, being joined into the fold, you know. No, uh, this is Titus chapter 2 verse 1 it says but speak thou the things which become sound doctrine jumping down to verse 9 jumping down to verse Shalak here I'm going to just read on the 2 uh, verse 2 says it says that the aged men be sober brave Temperate, sound in faith and charity and patience. And then that, I'm going to look up that word sound. Mm. 
And to be sound means to let me get the definition right quick. And to be sound means to I'm gonna go to the uh, KJV translation count because the definition doesn't really go into it. So I'm gonna go to the KJV translation count it means to uh, be wholesome, be in health, safe and sound. Strong's definition says to have sound health, be well in body figuratively, to be uncorrupt, true in doctrine. You know, and that's the main point. You know, because the order to, to obtain the sound doctrine is really a gift. Because with with understanding the sound doctrine uh, comes with understanding the mysteries of the scriptures, such as the mystery of the Gentiles, which has been a mystery for a very long time. You know, who is the daughter of Babylon spoken of in Revelation? You know, in the book of Revelation, you know, and, it, and it's all a gift, you know. So, I mean, you can't take this doctrine for, for, for an advantage, you know. You have to be thankful to the Most High that, you know, you, you received it. You know, you so know? this, uh, well, it's sound doctrine, all. it's simple, you know. All, it's, all it means is that you got to be well-grounded in this truth. Right. You know, you got to have a hundred percent truth. That's what it means to be well. Right. right. You know, sound mind, sound spirit, you know, good health. So if you look at First uh, John chapter 2, verse uh, 20, says, But you have an unction from the Holy One, and you know all things. All right? So that's what it boils down to. you got to have a, a perfect balance in this truth. Right. Yeah. And that's just, a, you know, the simplicity of the matter. you got to have, you know, a... a Great spirit of discernment, you know, judgment. That's all it boils down to, proper judgment. Right, right. Because you know, as, as well as uh, uh, you have to be sound and balanced in what, in your meals, in your body, in your in your spirit, right? Because when when you're not in balance, what are you? You're diseased. You you're not at ease. So your body, your body and your spirit all always have to be in balance. And the, the way you put yourself in balance is through these scriptures, man, through the wholesome words. These words will continue and vibrate through your system, give you a vibration to put you on that even keel, man. Uh, when, when you go in the ways of, of man, the ways of the world, it, it, it knocks you off your off, off your keister, man. It, it knocks you off your balance, you know. Um, Yakinah, could you get, uh, um, what is this, uh, I'm going to speak on this, 2 uh, second, uh, second Timothy? Four and one started that because you know this you know this 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 walk or this journey I always I always speak about it, you know it, it could be it could be a long journey so you have to prepare yourself you have to prepare your your walk man and 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 through these scriptures and through the men of the Lord from the apostles on down this is how you uh, find your way this is the light like we spoke about last week. This is the light, this is the light of the world. So go ahead, read that. Yeah, this is 2 Timothy 4, verse 1. I change thee, I there, charge. I charge thee, right. about this. therefore, before God with the, uh, the Lord, Yahweh Shai Hamashiach, right. who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing and his kingdom. Right, the quick and the dead is the ones who don't know the truth and, and, and ones who quick is, is the ones who are alive in the truth. He's going to judge everyone. Go ahead. Pre, uh, verse 2. Preach the word. Right. Be instant in season, out of season, repu reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Right. We know this, right? What doctrine? This sound doctrine, right? The, the ones, we, the, the, how we've been taught. We have to continue in this thing, to continue this work. And it says, preach the word in season, out of season. We get we get ready to uh, go from one season to another season. So now what brothers got to bring out what they went the gloves, they went the boots and put on their heavy clothing. They got to bring out their hats and gloves. But but we still gonna continue to push this word, right? Go ahead. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine. Yeah, see, some people is not gonna endure sound doctrine. They're gonna fall off. They're gonna hibernate during the winter, right? You know, we're snow bunnies, but they 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 care bears, and they're going to go into their caves and hide. You're not going to see them on the street. You're not going to see videos. But what we going to do? We're going to, according to the word, we're supposed to preach, preach in season, out of season, sound doctrine. Go ahead.
but after their own lusts. Right. Shall, they, they go to go after their own lusts. Go ahead. Shall they heap to uh, to themselves teachers having itching ears? Right. Like your producer J or J the producer. You got your G men. You got your Dr. White the Edomite. You got your vocabs. These are these ones who who, who think they have the, their teachers uh, standing behind them, but they're against them too. You know. This is this is this is how it goes. See, Satan is a, is a is a liar, man. He's gonna trick you and say this is the way, but it's all lies, man. Go ahead. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth. And that's what they've been doing. You see it on the videos. You see when they come up to the to the elders and the apostles, they're nothing but liars, man. They don't know the way. They don't have the way. You see, they they and they and they turn their ears off like uh, um. Isaiah, Isaiah the sixth uh, chapter said that their ears is fat, and their the ears is heavy, and their eyes is closed, man. This is the way these people are, are, are dealing. They're not preaching. They're not preaching the truth. They're not standing on sound doctrine. The, the, the Catholic Church, the Protestant Church, the AME Church, the Baptist Church, they all got Swiss cheese doctrines, man. All of them. They all got Swiss cheese. They got full of holes, and we could tear, tear it through the through the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. This is how we do it. We do it, we do it through the word, man. We just uh, uh, shut down them, those false doctrines and those lies and those principalities and those spirits of, of devils. This is how we do it. You see? Go ahead, go ahead. Peace out. Yeah, Khan. This is uh this first Timothy. Yeah, I think the brother's in the same chapter, so like Yeah. Uh, 4 verse, I start at 14. It says, Neglect not the gift that is in thee. And the gift that is in us is the uh, sound doctrine, like the brother said. The Most High uh, the Most High gave us the gift of having the whole truth. You know? And it says, uh, Give thyself wholly to them, that thy profit may appear to all. Right? So by uh, the Most High giving us the uh, the whole doctrine, we're going the, the way we profit is bringing in the fruit. Because when we bring in the fruit, we get the kingdom of heaven. And that's that's ultimately the end goal, is to get the kingdom of heaven and live at peace. Right. It says, uh, take heed unto thyself and unto the doctrine. And the doctrine is the doctrine of Yahweh Bashim Shai, which that's the doctrine of life. Because Yahweh Bashim Shai is Kaya, or Chaya, which is life in Hebrew. It says, continue in them, right? Because we know this, is an, this, is a, uh, this battle is a battle of endurance. That's why I said continue in them. Because we have to we have to keep going until the end. We have to keep the sound doctrine until the end. It says, For in doing this, thou shalt both save thyself and them that hear. Because it's not only one of us that it's not only one of us that's making it into the kingdom of heaven. It's one third of the nation of Israel and one hundred and forty four thousand that are gonna keep that sound doctrine. And that's, and that's why we, that's that's uh that's small you know, the whole one third of the whole population. That's just yeah, oh, it's, it's like it's kind. Mm -hmm. kind. So continue. You, you done? You done with that? Huh? Yeah, 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 yeah. So go back that, uh, Yakanam, go back. Four first. Yes, sir. Yeah. Let me start at the top. And shall, be turned, uh, and shall turn away their ears from the truth. Right, it says, and they shall turn away their ears from the truth. Go ahead. And shall be turned unto fables. Right. Go ahead. Like, like, like Mary, uh, Macaulay conception. Kind. Okay. Right. Like, uh, get permission sometimes to have uh, adulterous uh, affairs. Right. This is crazy. These are all fables, man. These are lies, straight up. This is the spirit uh, of a frog, man. This, this frog spirit of, 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 of antichrist, man. This is not doctrine. This is not sound doctrine. That, that, that these people are speaking, man. You know? They don't understand the doctrine of life. They don't, like the brother said, they don't understand this doctrine. Go ahead, continue. Quick one. Yeah, let, let them let him oh, continue okay. to then get yeah. into. But but watch thou in all things. Right. Endure afflictions. Right. Do the work of an, of an evangelist. Right. Make Full proof of thy ministry. Hey, that's that's the point right there. You got to make full proof of your ministry. I mean, do you really understand this book? Okay. Well, the things you're saying, do you really understand it? Because the words, like you said, do you understand the words that are coming out of my mouth? <laughs> that's right. Do it make sense? No, you can't make. You can't tell me you're making sense 
tell me that uh, Mary was a virgin and she's a forever virgin. Yeah, come on. That don't make sense, man. It just don't make sense. So, so the, the, the words that's coming out your mouth, it don't make sense to us. It must be a lie. You have to prove it through scriptures, man. And it says all affliction. Yeah, you have to go through affliction. This is affliction that these people is, 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 is putting us through, man. For real. Con, it, can I say something real quick? Because when, when, uh, when people of this world read the Bible, they read it as if it's a fairy tale. And they don't really... When the, the scripture... The scriptures is, is something that actually is, is living. So you have to put yourself in that situation and really, really try to be visual, visualize it to really get the full understanding. Just like the, uh, the, books, of, uh, the books of history, like Samuel, you know, uh, uh, Kings. You have to really put yourself in that situation to really, really understand it. Now, if you were, if you were alive during the time of, uh, you know, Mary and Joseph, which was Yahweh Shai's parents, you would, you would know that he was born of a woman, you know. So, so the the the, uh, the majority of our people they they don't believe in the Bible because they it's it was it's it's been tainted by Esau to, to make it to make our people to make our people believe that's a fairy tale opposed to it actually being real life, right. you know. Right. Yes, this is Isaiah twenty eight and uh, this is Isaiah twenty eight and nine. It says, "Whom shall he teach knowledge?" Whom shall he make to understand doctrine? Them that are weaned from the milk and drawn from the breast. For precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here little and there little. And that's why their that's why their doctrine, especially this, the, the the Christian church, is, is not sound because their doctrine has hold, holes in it. it uh -huh. it's, it's, their their doctrine contradicts the scriptures. You know. You know, for example, Mary, Mary, uh, the Virgin Mary. When the Scripture says that there, there, there was no other entrance for for the way of a man in the yeah. book of Sirach. Yeah, you know. So, so their 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 doctrine is not lining up with the Scripture, and that's how you know it's false. You know. Right. Let me get this real quick. Let's let it bring out precepts all day long. You know, one that you know. <laughs> so it shuts their mind. It's, it's been shut for Nothing life. you could do. <laughs> yeah, so you know, this one, you know, all you could do is just, you know, keep the punching bag. You know, yeah, yeah, the punching yeah. bag is not going to respond. So, uh, you know, all these folks in the, this uh, false doctrine is just a bunch of punching bags. Right? Yeah, so this is Zechariah chapter 7, verse 11. Well, they refused to hearken and they pull away the shoulder. And stopped their ears that they should not hear. Okay. Yeah. And the uh, verse 12 says, Ye, they have made their hearts as an adam and stone, lest they should hear the law and the words which the Lord of hosts has sent in his spirit by the former prophets. Right. Therefore came a great wrath from the Lord Yabashima Shai of hosts. That's right. I mean, I mean, you know, the, the scripture talked about if I tell you uh, uh, earthly things, how can you understand heavenly things, right? yeah, yeah, something yeah. like that, for, uh, paraphrasing. Yeah. So it's, it's like like the scripture you just read, they can't even understand the law. They won't even follow the law. Not being a homosexual, not sleeping with your brother's wife. You know, th those are easy things, man. Shaving your beard. These are easy, these are easy things, man. So if they're not even going to hear the law. And the prophets that were sent to the people, to our people, Yasha Allah, how, how can they how can they believe in the faithful thing where they can't see? See, because to, to, to please to please the Most High, you have to have faith, and they don't have faith in in, in uh, untangible things. They always got to be tangible. Too. Precept. I got that precept. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. This is John three and twelve. It says, "I had told you earthly things, and ye believe not. How shall ye believe?" If I tell you of heavenly things. You know? Heavenly things is gifts, man. We're talking about things of the spirit. Yeah. Things that you can't see, touch, feel. Yep. Right? Yeah. These so how can I, how can we explain these things? Reincarnation, <laughs> the deeper things. I I how we gonna explain it to you when you don't even understand Forget not to shave your beard. Yeah. Right? It's, it's so it's so it's that much simple. It's so simple, man. Yeah, I was shy is about simplicity, man. It's That's so right. easy, man. You know, his burden is light. You know? It also gets uh, John 8 and 23.
It is John 8, Salaki. This is John 8, verse 23. It says, And he said unto them, Ye are from beneath. I am from above. Ye are of this world, and I am not of this world. So you know in the, in the Corinthians we say those are in the flesh, by the things of the flesh, mm -hmm. yeah. spirit, by the things of the spirit. So those that are beneath, by the things that are beneath. <laughs> you know, things that are above, mind the things that are above. So, sure. you know, giving yourself to the spirit of prophecy, you know, sound doctrine, to let you know that uh, the Most High put you in a position that you are above these people. You can never come down to their level. You know, there's no agreement, you know, with them. The best you could do is just, you know, keep on condemning them, you know, use them as punching bags because no use, man. They're, uh -huh. so, they're worthless vessels. Right. This is Isaiah 55 and 8. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. That's right. Yep. So that's simple, man. You know, that's one thing Jake never understands, man. That the will of the Most High, you know, to, uh, to go along with it, you got to be spiritual. You know, it's a spiritual journey. You know, you got to be in the spirit is that journey. Come it's not a journey for the flesh. Come on, come on. Come on. That's what, uh, if I'm not mistaken, that's what Solomon said too. You know, he said, uh, the race is not to the sword. Yeah. You know, because you, you have a lot of people who think about this thing carnally and try to go about it in the carnal aspect, you know. But the scriptures say what? That time and chance happen to all men. You know, yeah, yeah. So, so either way, you're going to be put through that temptation and your, your faith is going to be tested. And if you're going about it in a carnal way, and you, and you and you have no faith, then you're going to crumble, man. You know, but like the Aki was saying, this is a spiritual journey, you know. So we're preparing ourselves now. You was going to say? Yeah, I was going to read that. There's uh, Ecclesiastes 9 verse, 9 verse 11. It says, I returned and saw under the sun that the race is not to the swift, nor the battle to the strong, neither mm -hmm. yet bread to the wise, nor yet riches to men of understanding, nor yet favor to men of skill. You see that? You see that? And you have men like who? Like G-men, who, who try to uh, uh, pretty much, you know, over-talk, you know, the brothers to, to uh, make it seem like he won. He even says that, you know, when he's out there too. Oh, y'all lost. Y'all lost. Right. What, what, I mean, he, he's, trying to, he's trying to get a carnal game, yeah. you know? Yeah. He's trying to get a carnal game, man. But he's doing all that in vain because when that hour of temptation comes, man, his faith get tested. He's go he's gonna be found out to 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 be uh, infidel, man. Right. You yeah. know, right. he's yeah. gonna be he's gonna be found uh, uh, that he has no faith, man. Kind of, you know, you talk it. about views. You talk about views. You talk about you know. I, I watch how many views I get and all this. You know, it's carnal things, man. Yeah, man. yeah. Those are things from beneath. <laughs> Yeah. You know, and, and I actually want to touch up on that. That was uh, John John three verse twelve. It says, "If I have told you earthly things and you believe not, how how shall you believe if I tell you of heavenly things?" And the heavenly things is the spirit that the Lord has on the brothers. You know, the things that the things that are going to get us to the kingdom of heaven. And you know, most of you know when you when you tell a Christian about reincarnation, they think that's the most far fetched thing in this world. So. It's not, they, they can't really receive the things of the Spirit. They can't receive the things that are get, get, grant them the kingdom of heaven. Because that could be, that, that's a stumbling, a so-called stumbling block to our people. Yeah. Or to Christians, you know? Yeah, and I'll read this really quick. This is uh, Matthew chapter 5, verse 48. It says, Be ye therefore perfect, even as your Father, which is in heaven, is perfect. Kind. So, it's, you know, it's not talking about your earthly father, it's talking about your heavenly father. So you got to be, you know, according to what the heavenly father wants you to be, you know, you have a you know, according to his wishes, you know, because the child's uh, dream is always, you know, being in good standing with his father. So, you know, that's the same thing for the elect, you know, the man of the Lord on how he's and values, you know, putting more videos, you know, making lessons, digging deep into the scriptures. So you know that's uh, it's that simple. You know, it's not uh, it's not uh, complicated. Kind. That's all. Let's so say you know. All right. You're Israelite. You know. You know what your identity is. 
know what's expected of you. So you gotta be spiritual according as the most I have you know, described. You know, your son, you have shot. Yes, sir. Oh, go ahead. Uh, this is First Corinthians chapter two, verse verse twelve. It says, "Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of Yahweh by Hashem Yahushai, that we might know the things that are freely given to us mm. of the Lord, mm. which things also we speak." Not in the words which man wisdom teaches, <laughs> such as, you know, yeah, the Christian church, we're going to go with them all day, you know. <laughs> it just says, the things which we speak, not, it says, things also we speak, not in words which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Spirit teaches, comparing spiritual things with spiritual. And that's why they don't have sound doctrine. They don't know how to be spiritual in order to compare spiritual things with spiritual. You know, this, the, the spirit of the Lord is not dealing with them. Sure. You know, they, they have holes in their doctrine. Verse 14, it says, But the natural man receiveth not the things of the spirit of the Lord, for they are foolishness unto him. Neither can he know them, because they are spiritually discerned. You know? Okay. And you could do for him. I mean, yeah. there's nothing really you could do for him. It's, it's only Yahweh Bashim Yahushai could help a man like that. If he don't get it, he don't understand it. He don't, you know, he got holes and, and he just speaking the precepts of men. And he just don't get it. Nothing you can really do, man. You know. Yeah, yeah the scriptures talk about that in Jeremiah. You know, this people is is, is as a sister and that can't hold no water. Yeah. You know, huh. and, and this is the water of life. You know. Huh. If I can add to that, uh, like the scripture said, it said um, uh, comparing spiritual things unto spiritual. That's part of the reason. Why they have so many holes in their doctrines? Right. Because they don't know how to compare the spiritual things yeah. of the scriptures unto the spiritual things that we're living right now. Right. You know, yeah. but we can do that. Mm -hmm. Why? Because we understand the prophecies. We understand that what uh, uh, the mark of the beast is the RFID chip. We understand that uh, uh, um, Yahweh Shai was, was uh, uh, a so-called black man. Mm -hmm. You know, from the tribe of Judah. Yeah. Yeah. We understand that America is going to be destroyed. Yeah, you know. if, if I may add, you know that's why they freeze up yeah. like, with concerning prophecy. Yeah. You know, because mm -hmm. they don't know how to compare spiritual things with spiritual. Yeah, uh -huh. that's why they that's why they still have not yet to know who the, the virgin daughter of Babylon is in the Book of Revelation. Yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah, they believe that. Uh, they believe, man, Christians' whole belief on Babylon is com completely misconstrued. And, and even when it comes, I, I keep going back to reincarnation because that's a real big stronghold on our people too, because. They think that when a when a person's born mentally disabled or or have some sort of dis, uh, disability, they think it's just by chance. But we know it's from the judgment of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shad. Mm -hmm. You know, thus saith uh, what's it called? Second Ezra, the fourteenth chapter. Mm -hmm. They said, "Well, I, I, if I can, I bring this up real quick." Yeah, yeah. This Second Ezra, uh, fourteen verse thirty-five. It says, "For after death shall judgment come, when we shall live again, and then shall the names of the righteous be manifest." And the works of the ungodly be declared, shall be declared. Well, see, you reading from the apocrypha. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> if, you had James if, Salaki. If, if I may add to mm -hmm. Shamar Ma, <laughs> right. but what, what proves the, the, the what, what validates the apocrypha? Right. Yahweh was being, being yeah, in yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. Yahweh Shah was prophesied in the apocrypha. That's the spirit. Right, I was just about to say that, huh? Yep. Yeah. Hey, your man's Gino Jenkins, uh, what's it called? Right under the apocrypha. Yep. Yeah, he, he compared, uh, he said Esau was Jesus. Yeah. And if I'm not mistaken, man, that dude was a bug out. Yeah. But he said, uh, it said, for after for after death shall judgment come. That in that sentence alone, it tells you, it tells you that basically after we die, mm -hmm. there's no of course there's no such thing as hell. That's uh that's Ecclesiastes, the 12th chapter, uh, 12 verse 7 tell you, you know, we go back to the spiritual realm and then we get judged when we come back in the flesh. That's why the scriptures tell you that in Matthew 10 and 28, too. That basically it said, fear not the person that can kill the body. But the person that can destroy the body and the soul in hell with judgment, man, and you know that's that that stronghold alone it keeps it keep it hinders our people, right. you know. Precept. So like, and that goes basically off them not having sound doctrine. Yeah. Since they can't compare the spiritual things to spiritual, they're not gonna have they have holes in their doctrine. Well, that brought good to uh, Hebrews chapter nine verse twelve twenty seven. Come. Come. Hebrews chapter 9, verse 27, it says, 
It says, and as as it is appointed unto men.